Okay, so we're back. I uh, promise we're going to start looking at the bottom of this, uh, kind of the center screen here and messing with the scene setup and level setup selection type area. You can see down here at the bottom, the first thing you got is the start. And when you click on that, that is kind of defining uh, where this level starts and where it ends. So when you say start zero and one, that means basically you're guaranteed that this one's going to run very, very, it's going to be the very first thing to run. Um, these are basically pixels, um, which kind of make more sense in a minute when I start changing some of the values. But I was saying the width is 479, and that's the distance between these two yellow bars on your screen. And you can easily change that too. You can change that to, as you stretch it out, you can basically change the length of your scene. So here we'll change it to, uh, I don't know, we'll just say six, we'll make it an even half, 500. I like, I like that. And then we can drag. Uh, actually, let's make it a little. Let's make it a little longer. So we'll click on that again. We'll make it 750. Oh heck, we'll make it a thousand. There. It's not rocket science. But if you wanted to, you could use this to be like. You could make it 5,000 long, and you could use this as like a tutorial section for. Hey, this is how you play my game. Don't run into these things. Make sure you catch these things, or, or whatever you want to do. Um, it's kind of your section. So. And to make that even out, so I told you this will start making more sense. You can say start zero and a thousand. And then what this one's doing here before it was start at one because, or yeah, start at one because that was the end of the other one, and then go negative one, which is infinity. Um, for a visual representation, you come down here and click the little up arrow button, and you're going to get these bars down here. So that's kind of neat. You can see exactly how that works. And infinity, it's going to go out for forever. Um, so we're not going to keep zooming out, but we can change that just by clicking and dragging if we want. We can also um, align scenes. So if we go edit align scenes, it's going to say, okay, your first one was a thousand, your second one, let's see, let's go ahead and change the, so our actual width of this is going to be, we'll say 1500. So zoom out a little, you can see top to bottom between the orange brackets, 1500 pixels. Uh, right now it's going to start at this point wherever we drop that and it's going to end wherever down here. So what we can say is we know this one ended at 1000 so this one's going to start at 1001. So it starts going to be 1001 and it's going to end at say we could say 10 or we'll say what 16,000? Sure 16,000. So we can say between, there's 15,000 between there. So for 1,500 pixels, it's going to loop that scene 10 times. So whatever we put on this field right here is going to play out 10 times. And I'll shorten that down so we can actually see it in action on the screen. We'll change that to 3,000 3, and actually I'll change that to 4,000. And then we'll go ahead and add some more graphics to our game because we haven't been haven't added any graphics yet and we need to get some on there so we'll go over here let's see where were we characters objects we'll go to objects enemies characters we'll go enemies we'll drag some enemies onto the screen and we'll make them objects and the game doesn't know their enemies yet. We're going to have to change their collisions and to turn them into enemies. But right now we just need to add them as objects. They're not characters and they're not going to give us points. So we don't treat them as characters or I mean as actions. However, the actions we do treat as actions and we still needed to add one more to the action list. And enemies, objects. We don't have any objects. We haven't created any background. So that's it for now. Okay, we can start adding some of these guys, we'll add a purple. So actually, let's make, uh, let me delete that. We'll make this one. I'll hold down the space bar and I can move up and down with it. If you zoom in, space bar, zoom in, space bar. Okay, and each time I added one of those in, it was adding it to the screen because it assumes that you want it right then and there. Not the case here though. So we just want to keep doing these red ones. So we'll go duplicate, duplicate, duplicate whatever it doesn't have to be perfect duplicate and we'll make something so the, if the player doesn't move they're gonna die I'm just kinda setting up a whatever scene here so 
So a big, sp and then we'll throw, let's see, we'll do a purple here that doesn't kill anybody. We'll do a purple here so it doesn't kill anybody. And then we'll do yellow up here. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Put two over here. And again, these aren't going to hurt anybody because they're not enemies right now. I just want to use them as, as place markers so you can see when the game is scrolling. So right now, what I should expect to see is these three red dots. <clears throat> and I'll put, put them over here so I don't die immediately. Um, but the three red dots from this page that don't really mean a lot. But anyway, that's the start page. We'll see that, and then we'll scroll into this. We'll see two purples, um, and then we'll see the two reds that we got to avoid, two more, these reds, avoid all this, and get through. And then we'll see this whole screen loop again, and that's going to be our double loop um, four because it's 1,500 pixels long, and we got it going from 1,000 to 4,000. And then after that, that should be it. We shouldn't see any more. So let's go ahead and test that. There's the three red dots. And where's the purple? Let's try that again. Uh, okay, let's look at start. And okay, we ended at a thousand. We need to start at a thousand. So let's take that last <clears throat> one off there. So 1,000 to 4,000. Now we should see it. So there's the red, okay, there's the purple, red, red, yellow, and then we should see the purple again, red, red, yellow, and that should be it. And there's 4,000 pixels, that's it for that, for that round. So that's how you kind of get that, I can get that scene to loop twice, and then if we wanted another scene, we can click the plus symbol over here. That's going to build us another scene over here. Let's go ahead and try, we'll put triangle triangle um, and I don't have okay we can put an action out there a pink one and a green one and then let's change that to start at 4,000 and at uh, we can we want to run it twice and it's 1500 pixels long then we need to add 3,000 on there and we need to run it to 7,000 pixels so that's how we can run that one two times and then we will add a end screen so let's do, uh, sorry, add another one. You can duplicate these screens, uh, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But let's say 7,000 to, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's say 1,500. Starts at 7,000, ends at uh, 8,500. So there's our stacked up scenes. Now, let's do a quick... I'm going to pause and make a really fast graphic. Okay, so real quick, I made a, uh, an additional object. And I don't know why it's not showing up in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I didn't make it at all. I still don't have any objects. Objects I'm going to make like uh, any kind of physical walls or something that we may need. But uh, I created that as an action. So in this little blue star, we're going to add that on as a action. And this is going to be kind of, I'm going to show you basically this is how you can end the game. So we got the, you have to actually click over here in the action list and then go to action type and we can say end game. And then on the end screen here, click on that and we could just put something simple like uh, we'll make it user text and we'll say good job basically you won and then for controls we could make a button that takes it back to the home screen and let's see we'll say uh, maybe that's the wrong button hang on Shop, share, review, back. So you want to choose the back button. That one's going to take you back to the home. And uh, we'll just put it over this. And we'll click on that. And that'll tell us, good job. Click on that. You go back to the home screen. But it won't take us to the home screen because we don't have a main menu yet. So here, we'll go ahead and drop a label. And we'll just put start. And we're going to fix all these graphics later and add a whole menu and make it look pretty. If the game's worth anything, or looks like it's got good promise, which it better, because I'm going to make it. Um, let's see, so we'll just say start, and then this will obviously start game. So that's it. 
come back later and we'll drop a graphic on here of an actual start button and make it look pretty for now that's all we're, we're really worried about and when we click play now it's gonna say start start why is that not working let's see what do we do wrong block touch is enabled start game as up there make it a little bigger and we'll go back here Let's see we're on the main menu game field yep should be working let's try that again ah, there is. I think we had to click off to the side I have a theory on why that didn't work but there's one set and then let's go to our next set and then we should see that star come on. Oh yeah, we set up this to go through twice, and then we get to 7,000. And when the star comes up, we hit the star, and boom, that's it. End of game, good job, you win. Obviously, you're gonna make that go a whole lot further. Um, yeah, we're gonna add a bunch more levels. We're gonna make this way cooler, but that is totally just a start for right now. And then I should be able to click on this on the peripheral of it, hopefully, and get back to the start. So I think what's happening is, uh, because that start is underneath the button, it's not actually letting me, me hit it. Um, oh, here's another one that we need to get set up if we want this to actually flow right. Um, you know, I'm actually not 100% sure why that's not working like that. I think it should be. Um, you play with that. So game over screen is your death screen. That's where you die. Uh, let's see, we'll put a label on here. We'll say, I don't know, you died. And then we'll add another one that says, try again. And again, we will come back and uh, replace all these with legitimate, you know, cool graphics. Polish it. Throw a button over that and big button because I'm not sure if it's I think it might be anywhere I'm touching the text it's uh, not working so we will go restart game we could do checkpoint we could do coin shop you know back all this all these options turn the sound on and off we're gonna we'll get through all those I mean to have a full-blown game you basically have to use all of those so we're gonna cover all of them so now when I die I should get let's see let's die you died, try again. Overlay. Click try again. Starts over. Sweet. If I beat the game, obviously, uh, you know, I get the yay letter. And none of these are going to kill me. These ones aren't. Only the red ones are going to kill me right now because they, uh, they're evil enemies. And then we get to the end again. Uh, and good job. So if I click directly on, no, oh, it's all working now. Weird. Let's try this again. You died. Try again. It's all working. Try again. Uh, yep. Okay. Woo! Scurried right by there. That was close. The only thing not working is that pause button, but I think I know why. I think it has to have a graphic for the pause. All right. Uh, with that, I'm going to call it a night for day one. Um, I started at, let's see, 8 p.m. Yeah, I started about 8 p.m. I've created four 15-minute videos in that time frame. Uh, little home distractions here, but uh, basically two hours to get these uh, this far. So basically I have a, a somewhat usable game. Um, not very pretty, but in under two hours, I mean, I got a an avoidance game started and going, and it's got a score counter, and you can die and you know all of that in less than two hours on a, on a Sunday night um, tomorrow's Monday I'm still off for the holiday so I'm gonna press tomorrow and uh, try to add a bunch more videos I'm gonna spend the rest of the night tonight the rest the rest of the night tonight uploading these and getting them on uh, YouTube and setting up the blog to kind of uh, start chronicling this so cool um, thanks for watching if, if you made it all the way through all of these um, I appreciate it, and uh, yeah, leave some feedback for me. Thanks.